I see any more of this, I am gonna scoop my eyeballs out. You have a shitty podcast. And you're shit. Negativity can come from anywhere. It can happen at work, the gym, it can come from people online talking about you trolls. It can even come from our own family and friends. How are we supposed to deal with it, especially when it's aimed directly at you? That's what I'm gonna talk about today in this video. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Chris, thank you for clicking on this video. So if I had to use one word to sum up the last couple of weeks that I've had, I would say negativity. But I think what really kicked things off was an incident that took place online over Twitter with our podcast network. If you don't know about the network, I am part of the Nerd Sloth Network. It is a podcast and Twitch and other media kind of network. If you go to nerdsloth.com, you can check out some of the stuff we do or follow Nerd Sloth on Twitch. And we're trying to do more things, so we'll see how that goes. I wish I hadn't done that dance right there. That was really stupid. But this guy didn't like something in one of our podcasts and specifically latched on to something that I said. And now I did the wrong thing and I engaged that and not necessarily in a negative way at first, but what I did was kind of signed on to my personal account, kind of poking and prodding and, and trying to see if he would say certain things to me, not knowing that I was the one on the show. Just, and it was kind of for laughs and kind of for some of the people in the know. That was 100% the wrong way to do. That was negativity on my part because I was trying to embarrass this person. Regardless of if that's something that I should have done or not, I did try to steer in a direction of, okay, like what what is your, your big problem here? Can we talk this out? And that prompted just a hailstorm of hate and negative things, not just launched at me or launched at the podcast. He also started attacking individual fans of ours that kind of came to our defense, or one of them just happened to be tagged in something and hadn't said anything to him at all. And he went in after some of her artwork and stuff that had nothing to do with the conversation. And eventually I came around and realized that I was just kind of perpetuating the cycle and I took it off of Twitter and, and tried to have an actual conversation with him of which he teetered back and forth between starting to seem like a genuine person and then also spewing out this just hate and, and really mean things uh, about stuff that really in the grand scheme didn't matter. He didn't like a joke about a cartoon that I made. <laughs> that was it. So it just got me thinking like, like why do we go out of our way to try to cause people pain and, and aggravation. Like, what is the point? And I'm not immune to it. I mean, I was being negative right back to him until I finally started realizing what I was doing. And I'm like, what am I gonna achieve from this? What I should have done is ignore it. Or in other cases, what we've done, if somebody says something that they don't like about us, we just say, hey, you know, we're sorry that, that you didn't find something there. I hope that you find something that you like in the future, and thanks for at least giving us a shot. I could have ended it right there, but uh, I poked the bear, and the bear was grumpy. So in that, I learned that negativity breeds negativity. It is just a cycle, and unless you break that cycle, it's just going to keep escalating. And the best way to break that cycle is with kindness. If I had told the guy those things that I mentioned earlier, well, I'm sorry that you didn't like it. I'm sorry you didn't care for the joke that I made. You know, thanks for at least listening. What could he have said back to that? And that's not even going out of my way to be super kind. It's kind of like a kind indifference. It's like, it doesn't matter. And I get that it's really hard sometimes to do something like that because you feel attacked, especially if it starts impacting how you view yourself. And a lot of people, me included, have problems with self-confidence. The best thing that you can do is believe the facts and not the opinions. Let's say somebody goes, this video that you're watching right now, it's upside down. Yeah, the guy's upside down. I mean, you immediately don't believe that because you can see it for yourself. So apply that same thing to yourself. Someone online that doesn't know you is like, hey, you're a shitty person, what you do is shit. Think about that real quick. Think about the people that love you. Think about the people that enjoy the things that you do. Then ask yourself again, are you a shitty person? Is what you do shit? Obviously not. That's not to say that we're not flawed, because we are. Everyone has flaws, including the people making the attacks, because if they weren't flawed, that wouldn't even happen. The situation wouldn't exist. Negativity wouldn't exist at all if no one was flawed. And that leads to the next 
big point is you have to be able to forgive people. I talked about forgiving yourself in a previous video and I'll post a little link to it here. Now don't dwell on this, but just think for just a second about the mistakes that you've made. How many mistakes have you made? How many mistakes do you make on a daily basis? How many negative things have you said or done in your entire life? We all mess up and so do they. Sometimes it takes others a lot longer to see that. And a lot of times people don't want to see it. And it's not really for us to point out their flaws. They'll figure it out on their own eventually. But what we can do in our own minds is forgive them. Because when we do that, we don't dwell on those negative thoughts and feelings. We don't dwell on those situations. If we can say, oh man, you know what? This guy, he's obviously got some issues. You know, I forgive him for that. I can let go of this situation because I've forgiven this person and now I can move on. I honestly believe that if you want to reduce negativity from your life, the best thing that you can do is to be kind and forgive others. And nobody's perfect at it. This is something that you have to practice and work at. And I'm not even there yet. I still hold on to things. Obviously, I'm still upset about certain things. I'm still trying to forgive people, but I know if I can get myself in that mindset, then life is going to feel a whole lot better. Thank you everybody for clicking on this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Once again, I will post that video about forgiving yourself right here. I think that's a really important message also, and it is another lesson that I've learned in my journey to try to better myself, both physically and mentally. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any other ideas on negativity and, and certain things that you do that help you in your day-to-day -day life to try to reduce that and try to reduce the amount of negative influence that you put out into the world. And make sure to hit the little bell button down there so that you get alerts every time a new video is uploaded. Thanks a bunch, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.